All right, we are on our last of 20 beaver dams that we have set up tonight. It's good to do your ice fishing stuff when it's nice out because it makes it a lot more fun anyway. But we're going to show you how we rig these up real quick. You don't want to punch line on your spool or else you can't get your sinker or your hook in there. Um, and plus when ice gets on it, uh, it won't you won't be able to wind all your line in there. So it's very important. Have the right amount of line. The next thing we're gonna do is put a swivel on it. We got all these ready to go. This is the, the white batch. We have 10 in there in that box. And uh, we're going to have 10 in that box, and then we're going to have a total of 40 beaver dams for ice fishing for our customers this year. You put the button on. There's my friend, my friend Chris. He can't do it. I don't have a clean break there. That's worse. So we put the button on so that you can mark the depth of your of your uh, of your bait in the water. A lot of people use a a, a little bobber or something like that. But a little bobber, you have to take off every time you pull pull all your gear in. So we do it this way so that that slides on. It slides through the hole of the tip up and. Um, can be slid up and down the line and that will be on there forever. Now we use 100 pound um, braided line for the main line. Um, gets better as the years go by. Pretty much a fisherman's knot on the one of the swivel. tag in. We're going to use about a two, two and a half feet of uh, 20, 20 pound mono. We have two different setups. We have half of our rigs are going to be set up with 10 pound mono mainly for walleyes but then we set up another 10 or 20 beaver dams with 20 pound or 25 pound uh, feeder line and that will work on either pike or walleye so if you're fishing in an area that's got um, just walleyes then go with 10 or 6 pound tests to leave the line if you got if you got a place that's got walleye and pike um, go with 20 pound test and you will still catch walleyes and uh, you won't get you won't lose a pike so another fisherman's knot tied to the other side of the swivel We're going to go with these larger size blood hooks.
very nice. That's a very tough rig right there. It's going to be very hard for a fish to break off that. Then we'll throw a split shot on there. Now the split shot can go above the swivel or under the under the leader line. I don't think it makes that much difference. Just didn't check to see if that hook fits through the hole. Oh yeah, that could be a problem. <laughs> yeah, it fits. That's perfect then. So I tend to wind my line all the way up, just like it's sitting right there. Then you put it away like he's putting it away there. When you're putting it out and you've had it stored for a couple of weeks or whatever, the line's going to have some memory. So all you do is you take your depth finder, put it on the hook, go to the, the swivel, and stretch your line, and that will take all that memory out. Ta-da! Here we go. Ready to go. I'm done. Ten more to go. We're, we're ready to go. In the box she goes. <laughs>